Hi guys, it's Promise Sebastian here again with another wonderful text effect. Like my text effect, you guys know it's always 100% editable and simple also. Pay attention to the colors, okay? You can maneuver when you get this one first, then you can maneuver and change colors, then it is gonna be easier. But for now, pay attention to the colors and follow the steps, okay guys? If you're new to this channel, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification button as I drop awesome videos like this every Wednesday night. So guys, without further ado, let's get started. I'm gonna start by getting a blank background as usual so i'll have to do background interface now and then click on the white uh, background if i click ok now my project project is gonna be lost I'm, I'm okay with that so i'll just click ok and everything is lost now so what i'm gonna do next now is head over to the image resize tool on the background interface and then change to the youtube channel banner dimension for the sake of this tutorial so i have the dimension now and then i'm gonna head over to the color and then over to gradient now so to use the plus button and then i'm gonna switch this gradient arrangement to the one that has the color dispersing from the center now so i'm just gonna tap on this gray color and then use the color tool by my right now and then increase this white to the extreme so i have fff this is the color code for white now and then this is the one i'm gonna increase but it's not gonna be pure white it's gonna be somewhere gray so you can use f3 you can use fcc you can use fdd so let's just keep it as f44 and then we'll click ok now and this is the background color now for the text effect so what you want to do next is click ok and use the plus button up now and then click the text menu and then draw to the center increase the size of the text to whatever size you want and then i'm gonna double tap now and then you type in the the text which says apple i'm gonna click ok and okay i'll head over to the alphabet interface now and then i'm gonna change the font to my uh, the font then now the font i used was sweat alona and i'm gonna share the whole resources even the um, leave illustration that was used on the text effect so i just illustrated it from um pixel lab so you check the description link so you get the uh, illustration and the font also okay so i'm gonna part this now to um make this e have some space here so we'll head over to the padding tool now and then we are gonna pad right so we increase the pad now and then we pad uh, left a little i'll click ok and i think this is okay for this test now so next is head over to the color tool now this is the color tool and then i'm going to switch to gradient now and then use the plus button and over to the color here now so this is the color arrangement i need white or fair color at the top and the dark color beneath now so i'm just going to click on the dark color which is this gray or let's just call it black and then the color menu and then the color tool and then on the color code now I'm just tapping on them so let me type in the color code first which goes um 3b8800 so i'll click ok and ok and ok so i have the color for this now so i'm just gonna tap on this other one and then the color to the color menu and the color tool and then i'm gonna delete now to so type in the other color which goes capital letter for color code a b a and i have f f and i have zero zero okay so guys pay attention to these colors okay you can this is the color and i'm gonna click okay you can play around with the colors when you've actually gotten the text effect it will be easier okay but for this now pay attention to these colors now so what i'm gonna do next is add some stroke to this now so i'm gonna on the stroke tool now and i have a stroke on this now so i'm gonna increase the stroke amount a little so i'm seeing the uh, stroke now so i'll head over to the gradient instead of color because the stroke i used was a gradient stroke so i'm heading over to the gradient now and i'm gonna use the plus button to create a new stroke color that wasn't the stroke color i used now so pay attention to the color on this one now i'm gonna tap on the darker part of the color which is this color box here and then on the color menu and then color two and then on the color code there so i have two i have three i have four i have um f and i have zero zero i'll click ok and ok and ok so on the fair part of the color which is the gray here now i'm gonna click on the color menu color two and then on the color code now and then i'm gonna type in the four 
the three and I have eight and I have B and I have zero zero okay I'll click OK and OK and OK so I have the gradient arrangement now for the stroke so what I want to do next is click OK beneath and then increase the stroke amount to 41 initially so this is the stroke amount now so what I want to do next now is on the 3d2 now so I'm just gonna on the 3d now and you guys know what to do once you on the 3d you off the simulate lightning there so it doesn't crack because if you leave the simulate lightning it's gonna be it's gonna crack so I I'll off the simulate lightning and then I'm gonna change to oblique um, dimension that is the oblique pattern of the 3d so I can change the angle of this 3d now so I'm gonna change the angle to just 260 so we are gonna reduce the depth really well let's just use a depth of 4 or 5 okay so guys pay attention to these parameters I know why I stated it at the beginning of the tutorial pay attention to this minute stuff they are the actual they are the actual the thing that gives life to this text effect okay so i have depth darken so we we'll darken this now to 40. so to bring out this you see this edge here now of the 3d now that is this darken now you see if you reduce the darken to zero you will be seeing the 3d now but if you increase the darken you will now be seeing it now so you keep the darken to 40 or whatever amount with deep fit but just keep it to 40 for the sake of this tutorial like i said earlier so i have this now so what i want to do next is add shadow to this uh, 3d now so i'll use the shadow tool on the shadow tool now and this is the color i use for the shadow now so i'll use the plus button beneath these color bosses now so you see the color code for the shadow the color code is 033 e13 033 e13 okay so i'll click ok and this is the shadow i'll increase the blur reduce to 18 so we we'll have a blur reduce of 18 or let's just leave it at 19 okay you can keep at 18 then we'll offset x a little just two or three and then we'll offset y to around seven okay so this is okay now for this i'm gonna click okay and then i'm gonna copy this text now and then i'm gonna remove the shadow i'm gonna remove the shadow that's off it and then change this stroke now to another color but before then i'm gonna off the 3d because i won't be needing it for this one now what i will be needing is the stroke color of this now because it's gonna um, help me to add more of this color inside color now to this other text that i brought out now so watch what i mean by that i'm gonna change the stroke color to this now you see what i mean now but the stroke width is not gonna be up to this 41 the stroke width is gonna be just 20. so i have a stroke width of just 20 and then i'm gonna click ok and then we're going to place this now to match really well with this now and you can see this is perfect now so what you want to do next now is use the shadow tool and then on the shadow tool now and you can see the shadow have, have it have added some kind of shadow to this now but that is not what we need we want to add some kind of a light reflection on this text to show that the light was coming from either the left side or for the sake of this tutorial the light was coming from the left left side like you saw on the text effect before we started so we change the color of the shadow to pure white so we change this now this this is not looking like pure white so we change to ff i increase this light and i click ok and then the blur reduce is gonna be zero because we don't need any blur reduce now and then y offset is gonna be one or zero two let's just keep at one first before we change that of x and then we'll, x offset is gonna be three so we we reduce x offset to just three to just three and then we'll click ok and then i'm gonna copy this text again now so here is where we are gonna do another interesting work now so what we want to do here now is first of all off the stroke so i'll off this stroke now and then this light that was reflected here i'm gonna off it first because i'm gonna off it i'm gonna on it back but not on this one now so this now we are going to change the color of this text now because it's the text that is going to have that uh, gray look alike color now so we are going to be changing the color of this text we we'll head over to the color tool now and then this time around is not a gradient color okay so we use a plain color now we switch over to the plain color and use the plus button now color code for that is de i have de i have de so we'll click OK and that is the gray color code. Now you see the exact place this button is now. That is the did this. But I can keep it somewhere. I wouldn't like. So this is it for this text now. And then I'm gonna click OK. 
So I'm going to do the usual 3D text now. So I'll head over to the 3D tool and then I'm going to on it now. So you see what it has here. I'm going to off the simulate lightning as usual. And then I'm going to change to oblique so I can change the angle of the text now. So it's at oblique now. So I'm going to change the angle. The angle is at 298. So I will switch to angle of 298 or 297. Or let's just leave it as 300 or let's make sure it gets to okay let's just leave it at 297 now okay so then we we'll reduce the amount of depth it has so we we'll reduce the depth to just three we don't need much depth for this now so a depth of three is okay for us now and then it's time for us to change the color of this um 3d extrude now we need to change the color now so we we'll head over to the gradient now but we'll note something if you change the shadow color to gradient, it's not going to appear like really strong when you own a shadow on that. Let me change to this color now because this is the color I use for the shadow. You see what I'm saying here now. I've increased this depth now. You can see that this extrude is not sharp because I'm using a gradient color for the extrude. That is why it's not sharp. Look at the gradient color I'm using. Assuming this is the main color we are using for this extrude now, it's going to be sharp. You see, I have a sharp 3D. But when you switch to a gradient color and you use a gradient color for extrude, it's not going to be sharp now. But for you to correct that a error, you can on the stroke. You can on the stroke and it's gonna correct the error, not 100% um, correction, but at least it's gonna be better than when you don't have a stroke on now. So look at the trick there, on your stroke, on your stroke and reduce the stroke amount to zero. So you see now, it's not having a sharp extrude now, but the stroke is gonna have the same color as the 3D extrude now. So that is the trick now, and the, with the same 3D extrude now. So we'll head over to the 3D tool, and then reduce the depth now, because we don't need this much depth. We we'll reduce the darken to just zero. We don't need it to get darken like that. So we we'll reduce the darken to just zero. We don't need darkening on it now. So the darkening is zero. I click OK. Guys, what I want to do next now, you can see that the shadow is not reflecting on this text effect now. Like the um, extrude of this text effect, this one now, is not showing on this other text because they have the same color now. You can see that I own the extrude now it's showing here, but once you take it here, it's not gonna show because they have the same color now. That's the extrude now. So I will, I will just head over to the shadow tool now, and then I'm gonna change the shadow to this color, this other color we used for this what this other shadow now, this extrude now. The first extrude shadow is the same extrude shadow we are gonna use for this one now. So we head over to the shadow tool and then change to the same extrude color we used on this now, and then use the plus to the same extrude color we use on this now and then we are going to increase the blur reduce to 10 so a blur reduce of 10 is perfect for this now so we are going to place and align this to make sure it's okay now so let's just align and move and move and keep somewhere perfect so this is okay now and then i'm going to copy this now and then remove the 3d effect on this now remove the 3d and then remove the shadow also and then what i want to do now is place it perfectly well to align with this now and then add some inner shadow to this now add some inner shadow now but this time around we are going to change the inner shadow i'm going to change the inner shadow to white and then reduce the blur reduce and then offset the inner shadow offset of x to three and offset of y to just two Offset of Y to, to just 2 and offset of Y to just 3 now. So I'll click OK now and this is looking perfect now. So I'll head over to this other second text, this other second Apple text now. And then this stroke we added to it, this, this shadow stroke, I call it shadow stroke because it's more like a stroke and then a shadow. We're going to reduce the opacity so it blends in with this background. So we reduce the opacity to zero. If you don't get the one I'm reducing now, let me copy it so you see it now. So this is the one. Now this one that has this white something. I'm re reducing the opacity of this white something. So, so it blends in on the text. So I just reduced the opacity of the sh shadow stroke. So to 83 now. So let me just delete this now. This is obstructing the view. Okay, so that is it now. So I'm going to bring in the uh, leave PNG, which I designed on Pixel Lab. 
so it's taking me to my gallery and this is the leaf png i tapped on it now it's gonna bring it up on puzzle lab right away it's here on puzzle lab and i'm gonna click ok no much effect now just resize yeah. sorry guys just resize and keep here then resize a little keep here okay so we can play around with this thing now we can increase this i think there's some finishing touches we need to do to this now so i'm going to use the stroke tool instead of making a stroke of 20 so we can increase this our stroke a little bit to just 23 now so this is what i meant if you don't know the stroke i increased i increased the stroke of this one now the stroke to 23 so that is it for the stroke now let me just delete this now and then i can now by so doing i can now adjust and move this up now i'm moving this other text this one i'm moving this other text now this one now this one this is the one i'm moving so i'm just gonna move it up and i think i'll move left and this is perfect now so i'll move this other two this other two now so i'm gonna mark the two of them i'm using the two here now and then move them left okay 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 so move left a little and i'll click okay and okay so wow guys this is it what an awesome and nice text effect okay it just not hard pay attention to the colors that is just the trick pay attention to the colors you can play around with it when you feel like if you've gotten your own exact like this then you can play around with it okay so not when you've not gotten it and you're playing around with it okay so guys thanks for watching this awesome tutorial if you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like comment share and subscribe if you've not okay share with your friends it's very important you're not the only one to benefit with it okay from it okay so guys um thanks for watching once more keep creating see you guys next wednesday